Thanks, Brad. The most eagerly awaited show in years opens in Cincinnati in just two hours. The curtain goes up for Hamilton at 730 at the Aronoff Center and Local 12's Jeff Hurst joins us live downtown for a look at the show and its financial impact on our community. Jeff. Absolutely. You know, a few months ago, I heard that tickets were going on sale for Hamilton. I said, I'd like to get one. So I went to the bus station and I said, I'd like a ticket to Hamilton. They looked at me funny. Am I missing something? Me, I died for him. Me, I trusted him. I have to say, uh, we've probably never seen this much excitement about a show. The multiple Tony Award winning musical about one of America's founding fathers will be in Cincinnati for three weeks, a week longer than most touring shows. Face value of tickets is 65 to nearly $500. Somewhat more if you buy from a broker, but they're moving. This is the biggest theatrical event to come to Cincinnati since Phantom of the Opera first came in 1993, to give you some perspective. Uh, it's bigger than Book of Mormon, Wicked, uh, Lion King, anything that's come in the last 20 years. John Stargell bought tickets for himself, his wife, and another couple. So this will be my first time seeing My brother went in Atlanta and had talked it up so much that we really wanted to go and experience it ourselves here in Cincinnati. A big show means big bucks for downtown, hotels, restaurants, even parking lots. One study shows the yearly impact of the Broadway series the entire season on the city is $66 million. A few tickets are still available. You can also try to win a couple of Hamiltons for a couple of Hamiltons. Online lottery winners get two tickets for $10 a piece. And speaking of Hamilton, the Hamilton Chamber of Commerce is taking out this two-page ad in the Playbill program, saying, you've seen the show, now see the city, with revitalized and lively downtown. Hamilton the Musical is coming. Consider this your Miranda warning, your Lin-Manuel Miranda warning. But they always ask us, um, you know, here locally to say, what does Cincinnati want? What are they interested in? Um, and certainly when Hamilton was going out on the road, we raised our hand right away. You know, the uh, city of Hamilton, as you just saw, is having this ad. You've seen the show, now see the city. The Mormon Church did the same thing for the Book of Mormon. They took out an ad in the Playbill which said, you've seen the show, now read the book. I do have one more bit of interesting information. This is exclusive to Local 12 from Lynn manuel Miranda himself. He is working on a sequel to Hamilton. It is called Middletown. Live at the Arnoff Center, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News, back to you. Oh, Jeff, you had me. And then, okay, well, I don't know if you're going to see it, but I saw it in Chicago, and it is wonderful. I hope people enjoy it tonight. Thank you. And I hope they spend money in our city. Well, if you want to try to win those $10 tickets in the lottery, you can download the Hamilton app and click on the lottery tabs. I'm still laughing at Jeff's <laughs> joke.